Yumadaf Memches. Today's first email comes from Avi Sherman. Hope all is well. I mentioned last night the story of Kimches, and it reminded me of the story you read about Harry Shalom's grandmother-in-law on Shabbos Daf Kuf Chof Gimel at minute 345. One of the few stories that actually made you cry. Good Shabbos, Avi. And the second email from Chaim Lowenstein. Shalom Rebelli, thank you and the MDY family for a great opportunity to learn the daf with you every day, Baruch Hashem, without a doubt. Rebelli making learning the daf exciting, refreshing, fun. And he wants to know how does it connect with the MDY family in Borough Park and the New York area? Chaim Lowenstein. Yuma Daf Memches. We're continuing with the Sphakes that our Papa had. And he continues with the Suffolk. What if you take the Kmitza, instead of putting it in the bottom of the bowl, you put it on the wall? Since you put it in the Kli, you yaitza. Or maybe not. You didn't put it the regular way, and he remains with the teiku. Mar Baravashi says, "What if you flip over a kli? Let's say a kiddush cup that has a stem. You flip it over, and there's a smaller kli now that you just created, and you put the kmitz in there. At the end of the day, you put it inside a kli, but maybe no. You're not doing it the regular way. Teiku. The Gemara tells us that Meloy Chafnav, when you, when the kohen gadol takes kataris with the, both of his hands, it's not even with his hands. It's not." Too overpiled. It's somewhere in between. It's foo fights. One of the four Avaidas, Shechita, Kabbalah, Hilacha, Zrika, they're all Ma'akev. And Kabbalah has to be done with a Klisharis. So, what happens if the blood fell on the floor and he grabbed it from the floor? You're not Yaitza. But if you grabbed it in a Kli and it spilled onto the floor, then you're Yaitza. And we learned from the Pasuk, V'lokach midam apar. And this is a very interesting type of limo that's not very common in Shas. The Gemara tells us you can't learn midam, meaning some of the blood. Because Rabbi Yudas says you have to be mekabal all the blood. All the dam and nefesh, that is. Because it says in the Pasuk, V'eskol doma yishpoich al yisoyed mizbach So what do we do? We take the mem, and we say the mem is not in the right place. So we, we gereya and moisif and darish. We take it away where it is, and we put it on the other word. And we put it before the word hapar, and now it reads dam mehapar. And we learn from this two things. We learn first of all, you have to take the blood that's dam and nefesh. It's the bull. What 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 is the bull? The dam and nefesh, but not the blood that comes out of the skin or dam atamsis, which comes out slowly before dam and nefesh and after dam and nefesh. And the other limud is that you need that the blood should come directly from the par. Directly from the bowl and not gathering it from the floor. Rav Papa had another suffolk. What happens if you gather the tyrus Meloy Chafnav, that fell on the floor? The question is as follows. Do we say the Kain's hand are similar to the neck of an animal? Because at the end of the day, he's going to take whatever he has in his hands and put it in a cleat. Although the tyrus doesn't say you have to, but that's what he's going to do in order... As we explained, that's the only way to get it to the Kaisha Kadasha. Therefore, it doesn't help to gather it off the floor because it's as if it came out of the neck of the animal. We said you can't gather, the, gather it off the floor. Or perhaps not. His hands are just like a clee. And therefore, if it falls on the ground, it's as if it fell out of a clee. And you're allowed to gather it and put it into the clee. Why? Because the only reason why you put it in a clee afterwards is because you can't do it another way. That's how the Tesis Rosh explains the Sogya. And the Gemara remains with a takeo. We know that if a person had a machshav of pigel, he's going to eat this carbon outside of its allotted time. When it comes to a mincha, he passes it just like he, pa- he passes it by a carbon. And the Gemara tells us the same Allah would apply by chafina. When the Kayin Gal goes like this and he says, I am going to bring this onto the Mizbeach, I'm going to be makhtri this on the Gechalim. After Yom Kippur, he passes it. Why? Because the Tanakhama says Allah that a full yom, somebody went to the mikvah and is waiting for nightfall, that touches. A, a part of the afer of the paraduma, he he's metama the entire batch. And Rabbi Kiva says not only the afer, but also if a tul young touches the mincha, the flower of the mincha, one part it all becomes tummy. The k'tiris one part all. Levaina the coals of Yom Kippur. Why? Because the k'tiris becomes kaddish in the kli. The, it becomes kaddish with dushas aguf. The kli combines all the particles together. So if it becomes kaddish with dushas aguf, step two is. Anything that comes Kaddish Kedusha Zaguf becomes possible Belina if you leave it overnight. And anything that becomes possible Belina overnight, if you think about it, you think that you're going to eat it, or being mocked it the following day, it also becomes possible just with the Machshav. Rav Papa had a suffix. What happens if a person thought of a Machshav of Pigol? He's going to be mocked the Ktaris tomorrow. He did it while he was 
stoking the coals. He was looking for a good glowing coal. The question is, do we say coals are only a machshir mitzvah, they're not the actual mitzvah? So could you have a machshav during, while you're doing something with machshir mitzvah? Is it considered as the mitzvah? And take it. Bringing the blood, halacha, to the, the blood to the mizbeach, doesn't say before the entire that that's what Tzvun Adabai is. But we learn it from the Pesukim. Nevertheless, if you do it with your left hand, it's possible. Why? Because the Brazil says that a, a Zari, Yisrael, a Ayin, and somebody lost a loved one that day, a Shikr, Balmum, somebody who's sitting down, and doing with the left hand, passes with all three avoidus, Halacha, Kabbalah, Zrika, we know Shechit is Kasher, Bizar, and etc. Now even though the Khan Gadol takes the Ketaris with his left hand, and the Gechalim with his right hand, and also the person who brings the limbs of the carbon Tamid onto the Mizbeach, he takes the head in his right, and the regular Yemin with his left, those are different. Those are Xeris and they're different. Have a wonderful day.